Chapter 4 Calling As a college student at an Episcopal university, Lonsdale Kester thought she had a calling to become a priest. Family, faculty, and friends were all supportive and encouraging, but along her path to her future career, she faced roadblock after roadblock, from outdated thinking to church bureaucracy. A few years later, she was working in a nonprofit in Washington, D.C., and still stubbornly trying to enter the ordination process. One day, a lay member of her church's governing body took her to lunch at a Tex-Mex restaurant and said words she'd never forget. You don't have to be a priest to be a minister. This moment was mind-blowing, trajectory-changing, life-affirming, and probably the first and only sober epiphany ever experienced at the Cactus Cantina. Instead of following her calling into the church, Lonsdale followed her secular calling to make a difference in the world and pursued a master's degree in public policy focused on performance management. At the time, George W. Bush was in the White House, and despite the fact that she disagreed with most of his Republican policies, Lonsdale was attracted to the Office of Faith-Based Initiatives that President Bush supported. She wanted to learn more about the positive impact that could be had through the alliances between religious organizations and the government. After graduation, Lonsdale began volunteering and raising money for the campaign of Deval Patrick, a Democratic outsider running for governor of Massachusetts. Her heart was drawn to his personal story and his passion for creating equity of opportunity for all people, especially those on the margins. Her head was drawn to the way in which Patrick surrounded himself with people who were open to discovery, who were curious, who were interested in learning new things. She found herself in the scrum of the campaign and later, after Patrick won, serving in his administration, where she eventually ran a performance management system for the state. Politics and public policy might be a far cry from the priesthood, but viewed through the lens of making a difference in the world and living out her values, Lonsdale unquestionably found her calling. What is calling? The most obvious and most frequent use of the term calling is in the traditional religious, nonprofit, or cause driven way. It's true that working for a cause that is bigger than ourselves can bring great meaning to our work. We feel good about ourselves when we're doing things for others. And regardless of whether that cause is intimate, such as helping those in your own very community, or anonymous, such as funding vaccinations in third world countries, it comes with karmic reward. Knowing that you're part and parcel of making the world a better place can be a vital piece of your calling. Yet, this is just one of many interpretations of calling. Cause doesn't have to be part of the equation for everyone. In fact, for some people, it can even be detrimental to the pursuit of purpose because the sacrifices they make in order to serve, their willingness to accept a lower salary, fewer benefits, and less flexibility, make them less connected, less contributory, less in control than they otherwise would be. You can fight like hell for your cause all day long, but sometimes it still feels like just a drop in the bucket. Limiting your concept of calling to the religious or charitable sense of the word can be damned frustrating, to say the least. This may seem ironic, given that I've spent my career in service to the nonprofit world, encouraging people to upend their careers and join the ranks. Nevertheless, I consider this narrow interpretation of calling to be problematic. Not only is it incomplete, but it also prevents people from looking for consonants at every stage in their careers. Instead, they assume that following their calling simply isn't for them, or at least not until some later date when they retire. Ask yourself, why does your calling have to be a higher calling? Why can't it simply be that overarching thing that guides the decisions you make about your career? Can't you have purpose if you're building a company, building a community?